And if, if what somebody else is saying to me is different than what God says about me, I have to cho always choose what God says. Because people will speak word curses over you without even knowing that that's what they're doing. Your words will either synchronize you with God or sink you into soul poverty. This is on us, and we can control it. It takes a little effort and work, and you've got to break some old habits. You've got, like, the wrong kind of muscle memory about what's coming out of your mouth. So in Psalm 1, this is the voice version, it says, God's blessings follow you and await you at every turn. You know it as, blessed be the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. That's a very famous part of scripture, right? But I like the way the voice says it. God's blessings follow you and await you at every turn when you don't follow the advice of people who delight in wicked schemes. So it's not just an automatic thing that these blessings are just going to follow you. It's when you are lined up and your thinking is lined up with heaven and he's never slumbering or sleeping. You can always call him and talk to him. 24-hour hotline, toll-free number. Yeah. Bandwidth is always on. <laughs> when you don't follow the advice of people who delight in wicked schemes, when you avoid sin's highway. Yeah. I like that one. When judgment and sarcasm beckon you, but you refuse judgment and scarcasm. <laughs> for you, the eternal's word is your happiness. It's your focus from dusk till dawn. You're like a tree planted by flowing cool streams of water that never run dry. Your fruit ripens in its time and your leaves never fade or curl in the summer sun. Boy, that's a good picture, isn't it? Yeah, I'm alive. And then Joshua, you all know this is a memory verse for a lot of people. This book of the law must not depart from your mouth. Words, your mouth, what are you saying? Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything that's written in it. For then you will prosper. Okay? That makes so much sense. Like any parent knows when you're disciplining your children they don't just get to do whatever they want to do the blessing is in obedience not rebellion this is another thing i talked about wednesday it's um just a, a powerful tool that i use every day when ray um, i saw ray today he walked in when we were getting ready for the service and he he heard this on in my back pocket because whenever i have a chance i'm just running the word of god in the background while i'm doing other things and how long do you think it takes to get through the, all the books of the New Testament at normal speed? Because this is New Jersey. You might try to speed it up. 22 hours. All right? You can get through the whole New Testament in 22 hours at normal speed. And there's plenty of things you do during the course of the week that you could have other things going on in the background and be filling your mind with the Word and not some other podcast on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff out there. But the more I listen to the word, the less I like the stuff on the podcast because it doesn't compare. The podcast is not eternal. Now, I do have to know the news for my job, right? So I, I can't ignore it. But when I don't have to look at that, this is what's calling me. He gives me the desires of my heart. He places his thoughts in me and then I want what he wants. You all know that verse? Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I think that means he will take his desires from heaven and put them in your heart so you will want what he wants for you. Only 68 hours for the Old Testament. Figured I'd give you the shorter one first. It's all good, man. It's all good. And this is like a, a dramatized version, which actually helps. It really does. There's different voices coming on for men and women. And, you know, it's not just like a droning, boring thing. I, I'm, I love it. I'm, I'm doing it all the time. And if you are an Audible member, you just... Get the whole thing for one credit. It's amazing. All right, so let me just give you the vision that I had. We were in Gloria Zion, and we were, the worship was going on, and, and I don't normally see as many visions when I'm here as I am when I'm down there. It's just something about the atmosphere down there. But this is what I saw, uh, a vault up in heaven. And I'll, I'll tell you the story as it unfolds, but this verse is really important. Isaiah 44, 22. This is a people plundered and pillaged, all of them are trapped in caves or are hidden away in prisons. They become plunder. Now, I'm just going to say, for today's headlines, this is pretty accurate for a lot of people. The children are being told lies in school about their identity. 
and our tax dollars are being used to fund that. I'm sorry. There is a biological difference between a man and a woman. Anybody home? Is the mic on? An infant knows there's a difference between a man and a woman. And they're trying to just, I guess, if you say the lie enough, they think you're going to believe it. No, we know the truth. Come on. They're trapped. They're plundered and pillaged. And all of them are trapped in caves or hidden away in prisons. They become plunder with no one to save them and spoils with no one to say give them back. So I just want to be careful here, Ray, that I get this right because I haven't done it before. So then this is what I saw, like overlaid over the safe was frequency coming from the glory of Zion meeting that we were in. And this vault that was up in heaven was not the riches of God that we want. It was the lies of God's people that they were believing. And there was no way to crack that thing open. But if you think about how glass can shatter with the right frequency, that's the image here, is that as we rose up with our frequency as a group of people, you know, like you could picture the image of it moving, the, the frequency was pounding away at the lock. And there's power in that, isn't it? There's power that you don't see it, you don't see it opening right away, but the more we do it and the more we get on God's frequency and we're lining our thoughts up with him and our words up with him, there's something going on in the spirit. You could be witnessing to somebody, and this could be going on. Their heart is closed, but the Lord speaks a prophetic word to you and gives you a word in season, and boom, that vault just opens up. Yeah. Here's what it looked like. When the frequency hit, the lock was broken open, and all of these lies came tumbling out. See, it looks like treasure here, but it's the currency of the enemy's kingdom, not our kingdom. And every kingdom has currency. And the currency of God's kingdom is truth that causes people's lives to change. Not just truth up on a stone wall somewhere. He said, blessed is the one who not only hears what I say, but does what I say. Go make disciples. But then after that, I saw this, which was a, a forgery. You know, a forge, not fake, a forge that took the enemy's lies and boiled it down and created new currency for us, okay? So when that frequency hits that target and those lies get emptied out, now you have to do something with it because you have to renew your mind with the truth of the word, right? Luke 11, 21 and 22 says, when a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are at peace. That's what happens when you believe a lie. That's what those two people were talking about. Wendy, I'm just shy. This is who I am. And then Steve, you know, there's something uniquely wrong with me. I have a problem that nobody else in the history of the world ever had, and there's no solution. When a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are at peace. And then there's this big B-U-T. But when a stronger one than he comes upon him... <laughs> He overcomes him and takes from him all the armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. So stand up with me for a minute here. Let's do an exercise and lift your hand up and just say to the Lord, show me the vault in heaven. Well, it's the second heaven. It's not God's third heaven. It's that, it's that where the principalities and powers are in that second heaven that's holding the lies that I believe. Now, you got to do that. Think about it. What are you holding on to that's a lie that you're believing and the Holy Spirit will show you? Because, Jesus, you are the stronger than the strong man. You, the frequency out of coming out of my life is going to crack that vault open, and those lies are going to come tumbling out, and you're going to melt that down and recreate it, and what the devil meant for evil, you're going to turn it to good. What Joseph's brothers meant for death, you turned it around and made it life. And you save them through a wicked act that they did. So there's nothing that God can't do. He can turn around any situation. And we say the currency of the kingdom is the truth of the word of God that causes change in our lives.